I'm like totally like new learning all this, but uh, <laughs> that's why I'm. Gl- it's a it's a it's a blessing when somebody like Michael shows up yeah. and just friggin' knows how to talk to people because we've been like the black hole, the abyss over here, all friggin' <laughs> all, all weekend. You know, oh, it's really? like internet. What's that? You know. Yeah. But, What's uh, this interweb thing you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. What is this interconnectivity malarkey? So. Uh, Are you recording? You recording this? Yeah, yeah, we're recording. We're on right. here. You can pop your head in there. Yeah. We're, we're, we're broadcasting live broadcasting through whoever's live. linking onto the website right now. <laughs> whoever, so, whoever will have us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whoever will have us. So you know, I, you know, I'm old, out of the loop, out of the scene. You know, I don't really. This is my like one weekend getaway. When you when you're married, and you have kids, and they, they and your life starts getting drained. You know, and you don't grow up in this. this Sounds stuff, like you could you write know? a really good album. You, this is a good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, you, you get out on the weekend, you look forward to this, and just have a good time and connect. You don't do a lot of homework. Thankfully, when uh, Kevin, I forget his name, said, hey, I'm going to set up this interview, I actually did my homework. Really oh, awesome, man. Read your guys' thing. Because yesterday, I had uh, Chad Smith's son from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, oh, okay. from Iron Tom, mm. sit down. Had no clue. He's like, yeah, we've been touring with the Chili Peppers. I'm like, man, how is that? You know, how have they influenced you growing up? No idea who he was. So now I, I know who you are. So I won't make those same stupid. Oh yeah, we we, well, we 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 don't we don't tour with them. So you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's, is it like you know being the being the son of uh, you know a, a rock and roll legend and stuff? Do you feel there's like more pressure on you getting into it, or is it just yeah. like you know what I'm doing my thing? You know? Literally, man, we're in a van with a trailer. Rocketing around the United States doing our own thing. You got your pilot's license yet? Fuck that. No come way. On, come on, man. Um, it's, one of, it's one of those things where any pressure that anyone views upon this band is entirely their own to behold. Yeah. We don't feel that pressure. We don't care. You know, that's none of our concern. We want to write the best music we can. We want to do the best live show that we can. This is in no way about being interlinked or kind of in- connecting the dots for us. You know, this is really just about good music and about sort of giving people something that they might not get anywhere else. You guys are like, you know, we're we're music fans. We're in a band and we're having fun and it's just about our thing. Don't, you know. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think that's you it. You don't go out there and promote, you know, hey, son of or anything like that, right? No, that'd be, that, that'd be horrible. That would... I think that that would completely disenfranchise people yeah. um, and sort of kill you before you've even started. And not only that, you'd be a complete cunt. <laughs> like, like, why would anyone fucking do that? Like, you know, it'd be horrible. So we don't do that, no. We think it's wrong. Have, have, have you gotten, though, any kind of advice like, from your dad getting into this? Oh, yeah. Like, Give it hell. Don't fuck up. Yeah? You know, that's pretty much it. I think that... Have you know, fun. Yeah, well, you've, got to, you've got to look at it as, you know, you're stepping into an industry that's already saturated with so many different things and if you believe in something enough that you want to put that forward and you want to have a voice you should never promote it as being on the coattails of something else you should never sort of do that because it it just removes your message it removes your integrity if you kind of you you don't get to experience all those fundamental important things like being in a van with your best friends you'll never know what it truly means to have success if you never experience the beginnings and if you never actually work for it you'll never fucking know what it means so that's what you have to do be like everyone fucking else do it right you guys you guys take turns driving the van yeah well on this tour actually we've had this guy billy who is like the fucking most he's the most superhuman at all manager it's insane he smashed out uh, the anaheim to dallas drive over a day off and it was like 26 fucking hours so you don't you can't control the windows so you can't like crack off some rats and lock the windows and like bake the guys with some nasty <clears throat> luscious parts um no unfortunately not we um dude i mean i can't imagine that i mean just freaking the two hour drive from cleveland down here my prostate was killing me you know, <laughs> well imagine. you should have taken your finger out of your asshole <laughs> but just it's part of getting old you know i mean i i uh more fiber stuff, I think, is what the key Dude, is. Try some whole husk psylliums. Whole husk psyllium. Yeah, yeah. Psyllium, I use that. Like, I feel like I'm getting a glimpse of the future now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't yeah. get a... Old, old man talk I'm right going to tell you, my grandfather told me this, and like the fucking asshole that I am, I didn't listen. He said... Is that a pun? 
Listen, Michael. <laughs> whatever you do, do not get old. And I did. And yeah. I fucked up. I let my grandpa. I'm sorry, Grandpa. Rest in peace. He's a Nirvana fan. <laughs> He's a what? He's a Nirvana fan. Yeah. He's, it's better to burn out than fade away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, tell me a little bit about the direction and what you guys are looking at doing yeah. with. Uh, where did like the name come from? The name. Um, yeah, we just kind of. I think we just we came up with it because you know the whole lions thing it fits in with the whole free lions English thing we kind of like that and it sounded a bit big and bombastic and kind of like you know we're like oh that's kind of cool we'll, we'll fuck around with that and we had a bunch of different ideas and I guess we, we settled with as lions because it didn't have any sort of genre specific connotations it wasn't like oh you know the Lions, which sounds like a terrible Beatles knockoff. Yeah, yeah. Or, or White Lion or something. Or like Death that. Lion, which sounds like a it's like, like it sounds like a terrible <laughs> Yeah, but it you know it sounds like a an eighties metal band or Death Lion, which sounds like a death metal band. As Lions, it could be an indie band, it could be a metal band, it could be a rock band, it could be anything. So that's kinda of why we we went with it, you know. So yeah, how I went I went to your guys' website and basically just sends you to all the different social media places yeah. and stuff like that. Um, I mean, if people want to like get to kind of know you, what do you recommend? Are you on Twitter a lot? You on uh, you know any yeah, social media? Want to want to get to know the person behind the music and follow them.